There is a dimension beyond that which is seen by man, a spiritual realm that stands outside of time and space, beyond sight and sound, beyond science and superstition. Within it lies the source of knowledge, power, and life. This is the dimension of the Almighty God. You have begun a journey to this place with no end in sight, for you have now crossed over into the Eternity Zone. People of Israel, why have you brought me here? The world is changing, Samuel. You're getting old. Your sons aren't fit to rule. Yeah! yeah. They take bribes and they're corrupt. Yeah, corrupt! Yeah! yeah. I've done my best to lead your people, but they just won't listen to me. They want a king. Samuel, they have not rejected you. They have rejected me. Listen to them and give them what they ask. But first, warn them how their new king will treat them. Yes, Lord. People of Israel, you don't need another king. The Lord is your king. He'll force your sons to become his soldiers. They'll die in battle. Your daughters will become his slaves. He'll take your best fields and vineyards, and he'll take a tenth of your grain. And he'll take your best cattle and fields. We want a king! We want a king! We want a king! The Israelites ignored Samuel's warnings and insisted on having a king. Disheartened, he left the crowd and traveled to a nearby city to make sacrifice to the Lord. It was there that God revealed to him the man who would lead Israel. And in a private ceremony, Samuel anointed him king. Not long ago, you asked for a king, but God, whom you now reject, was gracious enough to consider your request. The Lord has chosen one out of the tribe of Benjamin, the clan of Matron. Quit stalling and get on with it. We did not come here to hear you talk. Yeah, tell us who it is. We want our king. We want a king. We want a king. We're supposed to be here. Lord, where is their king? The anointed king of Israel is over there hiding in the baggage. We want a king! 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 Israel! Behold your new king, Saul.
This is Saul, son of Kish, an ordinary farmer who's about to become the first king of Israel. He's tall, handsome, resourceful, but a heart for God is displayed in one's actions, not one's appearance. Israel asked for a great military leader, so God has given them one. But with each battle they win, they'll become more feared and hated by their enemies. There's an old saying that goes, be careful what you ask for, lest you get it. This is the lesson that both Saul and the entire nation of Israel are about to learn as they take their first step into the eternity zone. Latest news from the front, sire. We still need more men. Captain! Yes, sir. Go throughout the country and gather up more men from our army. We need at least a thousand or more. Make sure they are brave and strong. I don't want any slackers. Yes, sir. So the mighty King Saul once again delivers Israel's sons into the battlefield to meet their death, eh? Samuel, we are at war, or haven't you noticed? Oh, I've noticed. The whole region has noticed. And as if our continuing problems with the Philistines are not enough, we have enemies on all sides. Moab, Ammon, Edom, and the kings of Zobah. The list goes on and on. I am the chosen king of God. I have not lost a battle yet. You were the chosen king of God, but your heart is far from him. Nevertheless, he sent me here with a message. God has decided to destroy the Amalekites for opposing Israel. You must destroy everything. Men, women, children, livestock, nothing is to be spared. Rest assured, the Amalekites will be destroyed. I fear as long as Israel relies on man instead of God, that no one can rest assured. Good day. Crazy old man. Saul won the battle with the Amalekites, but his growing pride and arrogance led him to make a serious error in judgment, one that would prove to have devastating consequences. Why do I hear sons of sheep and cattle in your camp? Ah, uh, oh, that. Okay, maybe we did spare a few of the best sheep and cattle, but we only did it to make sacrifice to the Lord, your God. Don't lie to me. I'm a prophet of the living God. Last night, he told me how you disobeyed his commands. Why didn't you do as you were told? I did. I destroyed the Amalekites, so I kept a few of the best sheep and cattle. Israeli Kute, you are bad and I captured their king. I destroyed everything else. I don't see the problem here. Obedience is far better than sacrifice, and listening to God is far better than the fat of rams. Rebellion is like witchcraft, and arrogance is idolatry. And just like you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has once for all rejected you as king. Wait! Please forgive me. I beg you. Stay and worship with me, please. I'm sorry. So am I, 
And just like you have torn my robe, God has torn the kingdom from you and given it to someone else. Samuel would mourn that fateful day until the time of his death. With Samuel now gone, Saul was about to discover firsthand the terror of living alone and outside the will of God. since the beginning. Only I get to destroy them once and for all. Why won't the Lord answer me? Comes neither in dreams nor in the casting of lots. Ask one of the priests. Maybe they can help. Shh. He killed them all, remember? Is there anyone, anyone who can give me an answer? Samuel could have, but he's dead. Maybe a fortune teller. Or a witch. That's it. A witch. Find me a witch who can talk to the dead. Then I'll get the answers I seek. <clears throat> I have heard rumors of a woman in Endor who claims to be a witch. Of course, I've never never been to one myself since it's against her wall and all. Uh, would you like her card? Anyone, anyone breathes a word of this, I'll have you killed. We leave immediately. God will answer me, one way or the other. This is the right way. Come on. <laughs> this is your idea, remember? March. Hurry up, you slackers. We need to get there before nightfall. doesn't make any sense. Where are we supposed to go? I don't know. It was his idea. Ask your advisor. <gasps> uh, I think this way. your mother? I mean, she was never a beautiful woman, but did you even notice the hump in her back? And she walked funny. It had to be her. It was probably her arthritis acting up again. She knew all about me. She even told me what was in my bag. It was amazing. <laughs> Lady. Forgot your bag. Oh, thank you. Same time next week. Wouldn't miss it for the world. How in the world did he get your bag? I don't know, it doesn't matter. I still don't believe it was her. 
It had to be her. I know my mother. It had to be. I don't know. What shall we do? I guess we should pull. Is anyone home? Did someone call? Oh, there you are. Come to speak with the lady of the house. Is she in? I'll be right down with you. Walk this way. You two, stay here. Okay. okay. <laughs> People come in all hours of the night. Who does she think she is? Haven't had a raise in years and benefits. I get no benefits. I get no respect. It's as simple as that. Oh, uh, it's this way. Have a seat. No, not that seat. That one. But I'm the key. The customer. Customer. It's there. Madam and Dora sits there. Madame Indora, wait, don't tell me, you have come to seek help and guidance. Well, what is it? How can I help you? I have come to seek a spirit's counsel. What are you talking about? I need to speak to the dead. You must have me confused with someone else. I know you're a witch. It's against the law to practice witchcraft. Oh, I may have dabbled in it a time or two, but that was a long time ago. I gave it up. I need you to dabble in it again. Why should I risk my neck for you? Do you have any idea what the king will do to me if he finds out about this? He'll have me killed. You're one of the king's spies. This smells like a setup. I swear to you. In the name of the living God, nothing will harm you. You must help me. Please. Oh, I don't know. Oh, decisions, decisions. Okay, you have a deal. But if anything goes wrong, I'll turn you into a Hold and make you my slave. Igor! Igor! 
prepare the mystic portal. Who would you like me to call up? The Prophet Samuel. Crystal ball, spirits within, spirits gone, spirits from Come, arise, mystic portal. Oh. Arise, arise, mystic portal. Oh, the mystic portal. Voila! Gaze into the mystic portal, and we will conjure up. The Prophet Samuel! Yes, 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 I see a man. A young, handsome man. No, he was an old, small, ugly man. An old, old, small, ugly man. Um, I see jet black hair. No, he had gray hair. Gray hair! With a hump. And, and a scarlet robe, a scarlet. No, no, it was a um, brown robe. A brown robe, I see a brown robe. And a beard, he has a beard, a goatee. No, it was a long gray beard. A long gray beard. Arise, Samuel, arise, arise from below, arise. Ooh, Samuel, arise, arise from down below. Oh, Samuel, come forth. Yes. What is it? What do you see? You, 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 you tricked me. You're King Saul. Don't be afraid. What do you see? I, I see a god coming out of the. What do you see? What does he look like? Wearing a brown robe. And he's right behind you. Saul, why have you disturbed me? I'm in deep trouble and I need your help. The F Philistines are going to attack and God no longer answers me. I need you to tell me what to do. Saul, you are wearing me out. If the Lord will answer you, why should I? The Lord has done just as he said he would, and your kingdom now belongs to David because you did not obey him. And the Philistines will destroy the entire Israelite army, and tomorrow you and your sons will be with me. The next day, Saul and his men fought valiantly against the Philistine army on the slopes of Mount Gilboa. Hoping against hope, Saul was determined to change his destiny. However, just as Samuel had prophesied, the fate of Saul and his army was sealed, and their destiny was now close at hand. 
Sir, are you okay? I'll be fine. Sire, Felicity archers are just over the ridge. We need to find cover. Finish me before these pagan Philistines run me through and humiliate me. Sire, I can't. You're the chosen king of God. Those that live by the sword die by the sword. I couldn't save Israel, and I can't save myself. No! 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 Saul and the entire army of Israel fought their enemy that day on Mount Gilboa and lost. But the true enemy they faced was not the Philistines. It was the enemy within, the enemy that places arrogance, envy, and rebellion over humility, love, and obedience. This is the enemy that we must all face and defeat not through our own power, but through the power of the Almighty, the power found only in the Eternity Zone.
So am I. And just like you have torn my robe, God has torn the kingdom from you, and my beard's just falling off. <laughs> from below, arise. Cut. Perfect. Wait. Please forgive me. I beg you. Action. Charge. Whoa. Oh, hey. <laughs> Source of knowledge, power, and life. This is the. Ooh, let's try again. I said journey. I was I gonna know. say journey. Dimension. Fought their enemy that day on Mount Gilboa and lost. Sorry, I just burped. <laughs> try again. Burp. Rod Surly never burped. Never burped. It's just. <laughs> I am Madame Indora. How can I help you? Let's do it again. You were falling. Voila! The table. <laughs> The teeth. We got a live one upstairs. Can't you see I'm busy? He looks rich. Fire up the mystic portal. And straighten your hump. You look ridiculous. Good evening. I am Madame Indor. Would you guys keep quiet? 